Today is Sunday, March 10th, 2024. Um, before I go into the word that the Lord gave me, I just want to set the scene for you. So the power was out on the whole block. The power went out twice today, but that's neither here nor there. So the power was out on the whole block. So it was already dark on the street and there were these black clouds in the sky that just looked menacing, like a storm was coming. And then the Lord started speaking. So I recorded it on the, the notepad of my phone. He wants this titled sudden destruction on the land. This word is for America. Um, before I continue, the Bible encourages us to test every spirit. Take this back to the Lord in your own personal prayer time and ask him yourself. Lord, is this coming from you? Is this coming from your spirit, the Holy Spirit? And if it is, is there anything that I need to take away from it? This is what the Lord said. Sudden destruction on the land. Mourning, lamenting, wailing. Mourning, lamenting, wailing. Mourning, lamenting, wailing. He said this three times. In a moment, in a moment, in a moment, everything they have depended on will be taken away. I will destroy this rebellious nation brick by brick. America will fall. Who are you to defy the living God? Who are you to mock and blaspheme my son? You laugh at my prophets, shutting your ears to them. So I will shut my ears to your cries as you watch whole cities go up in flames. Will you laugh then? Will you laugh when your homes are reduced to ashes? Will you laugh when your businesses burn to the ground? Will you laugh at the sound of the war you said would never come? Foolish and prideful nation, everything you have comes from me. All my kindnesses are meant to bring you to repentance. Oh, that you had listened. Oh, that you had cried out in humility for my forgiveness. If only you had acknowledged your wicked ways and turned from them, I would have welcomed you. I would have received you, but you would have no part of me. I took my word out of the churches into the city streets, crying out in the public squares for you to repent, but you continue to reject me. You continue to lash out at my authority and rebel against my word. The word that if you had heeded, you would have prospered in the land. But now you will be sieged, plundered, and pillaged. You will be prisoners in your own homes, slaves of a distant nation. They will sell many of you into slavery. Many of you will die. I am full of mercy, but this nation will show you none. They will laugh at your suffering. They will take away your possessions, everything you worked so hard for. But this is just to force an agenda. The churches will shut down. Curfews will be reinforced. People will not be allowed to leave the country. New laws will be implemented. The freedom you have become so accustomed to will be no more. What was once plentiful will become scarce. I warned you. You cannot say that I didn't. Therefore, you have no excuse. This is a consequence of your blatant rebellion. This is a consequence of your witchcraft and human sacrifices. This is a consequence of your lawlessness and lack of respect for authority. This is what happens when you defy the living God and when you insist on having your own way. This is what happens when you exchange the truth for a lie and fill the land with idols. You are an abomination, America. You are a shameful and disgraceful nation. You are a harlot of harlots. You are swarming with whoredom, depravity, 
perversion and every vile thing. You who were once beautiful in my hand, filled with fruitfulness and abundance, my favor was on this nation. My blessing was upon it. You lacked no good thing while other nations starved. Your cup ran over, a cup I put in your hand. Now you will drink the cup of my wrath to the dregs until you are full of it. You whose belly is your God. You who are never satisfied. Such a greedy and selfish people you are. You always want more. You are full of demands and entitlements. You speak of me and know me not. You profess a love for me that isn't even in your heart. You love me when I give you what you want. You love me when I open doors no man can shut. You love me when you need a blessing and you hate me with how you treat my people. You hate me with the numerous ways you defile my temple. You hate me by the way you live. You praise me while living double lives. You rob my people while preaching my word. You are a land of adulterers and thieves. You are a land of liars and rebels. You are a land of filth and unholiness. You are a land of witchcraft, sorcery, and idol worship. You are worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. You have exceeded them by far in wickedness. To your shame, I say this. All your works are only evil continually and you know nothing of doing good. You are a corrupt, wicked, and shameful nation like vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes. I cannot stand the sight of you. I hate your religious feasts, your fancy robes, and your man-made traditions. Get them out of my sight. You who practice nothing of what you preach. You who condemn and shame others for a life you aren't even living yourselves. Hypocrites. You are always saying one thing and doing another. Your words are as empty as your hearts. They mean nothing. I know your hearts. I know they are wicked, deceitful, and cannot be trusted. I offered you a new heart so you would stop rebelling against me and living for yourselves. But you continually reject my outstretched arm and shut your ears to my pleas for you to turn to me and live. You say I am not being fair, but it is you who is not fair. I gave you a way out. I gave you a way to escape my coming judgment. I gave you a way to avoid the eternal fires of hell. I gave you a way for you to come from under condemnation and stand justified before me. I gave you my son. Jesus is the way. Many of you will die in your sin not knowing him because even after this, you won't repent. But if you turn to me now, I will create in you a clean heart and renew a right spirit within you. You will be my child and I will be your God. I will wash away the crimson stain of your transgressions by the blood I shed for you. You will be mine. And I will guard you jealously, and no one will snatch you out of my hand. You will mourn and lament over the things of which you are now ashamed, and you will walk with me in white. But if you choose to shut up your ears and harden your hearts, you will die in your sin. You will stand before me on the day of judgment professing all the things that you believe make you good. And I will say, depart from me, for I never knew you. You who practice lawlessness, and you will be cast into outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I, the Lord, have spoken. I then received the following Bible confirmations. The first one the Lord took me to was Isaiah 55. Verses 6 to 7, it says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call to him while he is near. Let the wicked one abandon his way and the sinful one his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord. He then brought me to Isaiah 57, verses 3 to 5. But come here, you witches, sons, offspring of an adulterer and a prostitute. Who are you mocking? Who are you opening your mouth and sticking out your tongue at? 
Isn't it you, you rebellious children, you offspring of liars who burn with lust among the oaks under every green tree, who slaughter children in the wadis below the clefts of the rocks? I heard the Lord say the words, child sacrifice. He then brought me to Isaiah 57, parts of verse 6 through 7. It says, you have even poured out a drink offering to them. You have offered a grain offering. Should I be satisfied with these? You have placed your bed on a high and lofty mountain. You also went up there to offer sacrifice. He then brought me to Isaiah 57, part of verse 11, all of 12 and part of verse 13. It says, I have kept silent for a long time, haven't I? So you do not fear me. I will announce your righteousness and your works. They will not profit you. When you cry out, let your collection of idols rescue you. The wind will carry all of them off. A breath will take them away. Bear with me just one moment. Isaiah 57 verses 18 to 19. I have seen his ways, but I will heal him. I will lead him and restore comfort to him and his mourners, creating words of praise. The Lord said, Peace, peace to the one who is far or near, and I will heal him. I then heard the Lord say, The people who turn to me. He brought me to Isaiah 59. Verses 1 to 3, it says, Indeed, the Lord's arm is not too weak to save, and his ear is not too deaf to hear. But your iniquities are separating you from your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he does not listen. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, and your tongues mutter injustice. Isaiah 59, verses 8 to 10. They have not known the path of peace, and there is no justice in their ways. They have made their roads crooked. No one who walks on them will know peace. Therefore, justice is far from us, and righteousness does not reach us. We hope for light, but there is darkness for brightness. But we live in the night. We grope along a wall like the blind. We grope like those without eyes. We stumble at noon as though it were twilight. We are like the dead among those who are healthy. Isaiah 59, 12. For our transgressions have multiplied before you and our sins testify against us. For our transgressions are with us and we know our iniquities. The Lord said to stop there in verse 12. Then brought me to Isaiah 59, 18. It says, so he will repay according to their deeds fury to his enemies retribution to his foes he told me just that part he then brought me to jeremiah chapter 5 verses 7 to 9 why should i forgive you your children have abandoned me and sworn by those who are not gods i satisfied their needs yet they committed adultery they gashed themselves at the prostitute's house they are well-fed, eager stallions, each neighing after someone else's wife. Should I not punish them for these things? This is the Lord's declaration. Should I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? On that same page, he led me to a caption that read, Coming Judgment. After that, he brought me to Jeremiah 5.12. It says, They have contradicted the Lord and insisted it won't happen harm won't come to us we won't see sword or famine he told me just that part then he brought me to jeremiah 5 17 they will consume your harvest and your food they will consume your sons and your daughters they will consume your flocks and your herds they will consume your vines and your fig tree with the sword they will destroy your fortified cities in which you trust. Next was Jeremiah chapter 5 verses 21 to 22. Hear this, you foolish and senseless people. They have eyes, but they don't see. They have ears, but they don't hear. Do you not fear me? 
This is the Lord's declaration. Do you not tremble before me, the one who set the sand as the boundary of the sea, an enduring barrier that it cannot cross? He told me just that part. Then he brought me to Jeremiah 5.23. But these people have stubborn and rebellious hearts. Bear with me just a moment. These people have stubborn and rebellious hearts. He brought me to two captions. One with the word siege in capital letters. And the other one with the word wrath. He finished with this last confirmation. He said in Jeremiah 6, 10 to 12. Who can I speak to and give such a warning that they will listen? Look, their ear is uncircumcised so they cannot pay attention. See, the word of the Lord has become contemptible to them. They find no pleasure in it. But I am full of the Lord's wrath. I am tired of holding it back. Pour it out on the children in the street, on the gathering of young men as well. For both husband and wife will be captured, the old with the very old. Their houses will be turned over to others, their fields and wives as well. For I will stretch out my hand against the inhabitants of the land. This is the Lord's declaration. I heard the Lord say while I was reading this, the words slavery and sex slave trade, which he had mentioned in the word that they would sell people into slavery. The Lord said right after this, that is all the confirmation you need. 